So hello and good morning. So for today we will do a simple list view in uh, Android Studio. <clears throat> so this simple list view is easy enough to create. So you will have a list over here and then when you uh, click this your Android Studio uh, or your Android application will react by displaying the tools at the bottom right here we click here okay bila persekutuan putrajaya and then it will uh, uh, display uh, what is selected right over here okay perli selected so perak selected okay pahang selected and then uh, negeri sembilan selected so we will try and do this for today's lab session right in order to do this, uh, just create a simple uh, project, right? Let me close this project first. Okay, and then we create a simple project. Oh. Okay, create a simple project first, blank um, activity, okay, is enough. Right, the first and foremost way is to go to the layout. Right, you go to the layout area. Okay, here, hello world, you delete it. Okay, and then you go to code. Okay, at the top, right, at the top there. Okay, you go to the code. Right, here, you can change uh, the constraint layout into. Okay, either you can use linear layout, vertical. Or you may use a relative layout uh, just like the previous uh, lab. So you can uh, choose either one. But for this example, okay, we will try to explore uh, linear layout. Okay, linear layout. Okay, for linear layout. Okay, for linear layout. Okay, sorry. Okay, for linear layout, you have to type over it over here. Okay, for linear layout, you need to specify its uh, Android uh, orientation. So it can be either vertical or horizontal. So we are trying to create a vertical linear layout. Right? So when you look over here, you will see that you will use okay vertical linear layout. So the difference between vertical and uh, horizontal linear layout is that in vertical you can put the element vertically, you can stack it vertically, but horizontally you have to stack it in columns. Uh, columns. Okay, and then you close over here, and then you okay you make it uh, like this. So in between here you put a list view. So you can drag a list view here in legacy. Okay, this is list view. You just drag it under linear layout. Okay, you drag it under linear layout. So, you will get uh, a view something like this. Item and sub item. Okay, and then change the idea of uh, list view to list view. Okay, you could put uh, any other view. Alright, then. Okay, uh, you save your project. You go back to the uh, main activity screen. And then you type here uh, list view. Okay, LV. Okay, you can declare any thing that you like. Okay, and then uh, okay, find uh, view by ID r dot ID dot list view. Okay, don't forget to uh, put a casting. Alright, this is the easiest way to do this. Okay, and then you are done. Supposedly you are done. Okay, but we need to input. If you remember back, we have a name of the uh, states in Malaysia. So you can uh, key in a state in the Malaysia. Uh, okay, just like this. Okay, easy. Right. Uh, so I'm just uh, show you how to key in this the state so we just list up the state first okay perlis kedah pulau pinang so what else that 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 you have okay 
Negeri Sembilan, Johor, Pahang, Terengganu, Kelantan. So, anything else that I miss? So, we try to delete it. So, you can see. So, 11. So, uh, and then. Okay, 14. And then, uh, to make it easy, you can just uh, sort it, alright, sort this, okay, sort this, okay, custom sort, okay, so you can have something like this, and then to be pasted here, uh, in the, okay, in the, uh, in your class. Right, okay, you can paste it in the class. So, string uh, negeri equals. Okay, you could put here. Okay, okay, what's uh, the first one is Johor. Right, if I'm not mistaken, Johor, Kedah, and so on. Okay, this is just a state. So, we have to put uh, the quote over here. Right, uh, things that can help you to do this uh, more would be uh, Notepad++ or Atom uh, Text Editor <coughs> Okay, this is Atom Okay, this is what you have already sorted So, let's say that uh, you can use this Atom Okay, find what Okay, and then you can easily tell the atom to replace okay to replace your new line with uh, comma all right replace new line with comma okay let's see that if it uh, can do so it cannot do that obviously so right okay try we try it again Okay, you can find and then find and replace. So R slash N, right? Comma replace all. Okay, already you all have uh, uh, the strings, right? The strings. So what you need to do is just replace it and then put it over here. And then you only need to put in the apostrophe, right? Apostrophe. Okay. It's not a philosophy or it's a quote. Okay, you need just only need to put the quote. So this is relatively easy. Okay, if you see this line over here, okay, this line means that uh this is the maximum width uh, of your screen can uh, read. Uh, for a for programmer so if you see this line you can enter a new line okay to make your code uh, much more readable okay supaya mudah dibaca so line ni adalah guideline supaya dia mudah dibaca you can make your code uh, much more readable if you press enter at the end or before your code reaches this line okay okay this is the 80 character limit alright you already have your string so what you need to do now is uh, you open up a string uh, an array adapter. Okay, you use an array adapter. Okay, array adapter. You type here string. Okay, this is a template. Okay. Okay, import. Okay, alternate enter, and then you put here the name adapter. So new. Okay, new. Array adapter. So this array adapter, you may have to put it string, and then you put here negeri. Okay. So you put here supposed to be a string. So it's not uh, about negeri; it's about string. And then you open this. Okay, and then you can read the. The hint over here. So context uh, must be always this. Alright. Layout. Okay, layout here is Android dot R dot ID 
dot list view, uh, list view okay list list view so it's not list view okay it's layout okay r dot layout okay take a uh, simple item one okay comma okay comma negeri all right so this will uh, okay attach uh, this uh, array to this array adapter okay afterward okay you just need to put here lv dot set adapter okay set adapter you uh, right here in the green okay Oh sorry, it's not uh, set adapter. You put here as adapter. Okay, not negeri because negeri is already uh, linked with adapter. Okay, and then you put here adapter. And then uh, this is uh, this complete the first phase of the demo. Right, and then you uh, press play. And then you will notice that the sample has already uh, been run like this so if you want to add item you can just add item over here okay okay you can put item over here okay for example like this default okay put here default then when you press uh, play up here okay the default is at the top <coughs> okay Okay, now you are uh, completed at the first uh, round. Okay, first level. Okay, what uh, we haven't accomplished yet is to attach uh, the on item click. So now we have to add an on item click. So on item click is uh, important because it will translate our action that is uh, item click into something that uh, what your application can do. So we want to uh, ask when we want, what we want to do is that when the user press uh, something in the list view, your application will do something. Okay, will do something. So yang tu yang kita nak. Okay, kita nak bila kita user click sesuatu and then your application will do something. Right. Okay, to do that, we can uh, continue with our lesson. Okay, to continue it. Just put here ex, uh, implements, sorry, implements. Uh, on item click listener. Okay. Okay, you can click here. Uh, okay. Put here on click. Okay. You put here on click on item click. Okay. This is very simple. Right, so what happens is that when your user click on the item, okay, it will pass the adapter, uh, the on item click listener. You uh, will pass it uh, through the list view and then you connect it to this on item click listener. So to connect the list view to the on item click listener, you put your LV, okay, set on item click listener. Okay, and then you put your this. Okay, because we want the on item click listener to connect. Okay, to connect uh, with this one. So from this view, you connect it to this. Okay, to this class. So when you connect the net, uh, when you connect it to this class, so the signal will be received. Uh, from this method ok, bila user click katakan Johor kan, dia click Johor dekat sini ok, dia click Johor so the user uh, the system will send the signal over here and then go to this ok, this uh, class over here and then this class will send it over here ok, together with the uh, other information such as the position 
and then the ID and then the type of the view uh, that has uh, that are being clicked so this is important because we can use this position to get uh, back the uh, to retrieve back the value that is stored inside negeri okay inside this negeri string a string array okay to do this is uh, simple okay you can take over here right negeri okay position okay you can put your position all right so it will retrieve back the okay it will retrieve back the data from the position okay if the user click on the default it will give uh, position zero it will give back the default over here so string uh, negeri display okay display over here okay so whatever um item that the user click uh, such as melaka so the signal will be sent over here okay this and then it will pass over here the position and then the position will be saved over here and then we will use the position to retrieve back uh, which negeri that has been clicked contoh macam uh, melaka dia akan send uh, nombor 7 dekat sini Lepas tu negeri ni akan keluar Melaka lah nombor tujuh uh, ke tujuh. Ah, sorry yang keempat. Okay. Yang keempat. So in this case uh, four. So over here. And then when you want to display it you can use toast. Okay toast. Okay. Toast not make text. Okay, this we put here uh, negeri display plus click all right click and then comma toast dot length shot right so you close it here and then you can type here toast dot show so this is a uh, fairly simple to do and then you just run it over it a minute and then you just run it over okay and then it happen okay when you click police it become police when you click sabah it become sabah and then when you click uh, sarawak it become sarawak and then when you click selangor it become selangor and then when you click terengganu it become terengganu Okay, next I'm going to show a bonus scene where you can uh, recreate back uh, a new activity, right? You can create a new activity okay, based on the item that you click, alright? New activity. So when you implement this, when your user click Melaka, it will display a new screen, okay? Writing Melaka. Okay, next uh, we will try to do that. Okay, in order to do that, you create an empty activity or blank activity. We choose from the gallery, empty or basic. Okay, you can create an empty. So we can go here to the sub. Okay, sub activity. Okay, you can rename uh, any activity that you like. So like this, I want to put here as sub activity. Okay, so you have already created the sub activity. So the name it uh, activity sub. So you go to the layout activity sub. So the activity sub is truly blank over here if you look closely. So I just want to add a text. So let's see that if I can add, add the text. Okay, it seems that I can add the text over here. So just put here text, uh, rename the text over here as TV state. Okay, you can put here TV state. Okay, the text over here. TV state, the text you just uh, leave it blank. Or you can write it as um, states. Okay, states. 
Alright, next uh, you go back to the main activity. Okay, remember back that you have degree and degree position over here. So you do not want to have this. Okay, you do not want to have this. Okay, we, uh, you do not want to show it to show toast anymore. Or you can also leave it uh, like that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Right, what you need to do is create an intent. Intent, intent. Okay, new intent. Okay, import the intent. Alright, what we need to do here is we look, uh, we want going to see that what kind of intent that you want to create. So you can create a blank intent or you can create uh, an intent with the class. So you can put here the name of the class. So I need to put here the package context first and then the class. Alright, like this. Okay, sub activity dot class. Okay, how do you, I get the sub activity name? Okay, I get it from here. All right, from here sub activity. So this is the activity that you want to open. All right. So it is uh, relatively easy uh, to do. All right, and then you can just start the activity. All right, start activity. Intent. Okay, just play it. The minute the current process. So okay, okay. Then I click kedah, the kedah click, and then Kelantan, Kelantan click, right? And then Perak, Perak click. Uh, so we can open a new activity. So relatively easy, right? Okay, relatively easy. It's not that hard. Okay, to do this, not that hard. Kedah. Negeri Sembilan. Okay. Selangor. Okay, what we see is that the state here has not changed. Alright, to change the... The... Uh, what we say that the... Okay, the text over here. Okay, you need to do a little bit extra work. So, you need to put here, intent, put extra. Right. Okay. Intent put extra. So if you use any of the no SQL database, then you will be um, familiar with what we call it as in uh, uh, string and value. Uh, sorry, key and value name. So you put your key. A key name is negeri, and then the value would be negeri display. Okay, the negeri that you want to be uh, displayed. So we take over here negeri display, and then negeri. Right? Okay. Okay, that's all that you need uh, to do. So you can put uh, other other intent. Okay, put extra. Uh, okay, uh, other values such as integer, long, float, short, and so on. But uh, we will try to put the negeri name first. Right, and then you go to the sub activity over here. Okay, this is important. And then you look at the start activity, you look at the state uh, ID. So the ID of the state would be text view. Okay, right. You see here text view, you go to the start activity. Okay, you declare here text view. Okay, text view. Okay, you declare it as a text view. TV states equals text view. Sorry, text view. Find view by id r dot id dot text view. So where did I get this text view? Is from here the sub. Okay, the name of the state. Right, the name of the state over here. Right, text view. So you go to the sub here, put your text view. Right. And next we are uh, going to change this TV state. Right, how do we are uh, going to change the TV state by using bundle, right? By using bundle. So how to use the bundle or get intent? Okay, this is uh, simple. You put it intent, intent equals get intent. 
Okay, intent, get intent. You can put here uh, what kind of intent you want to get. Uh, okay, you want to get negeri, negeri name. Okay, you can put here. Alright, get intent. So, intent, you want to get the negeri name. So, you can put your get extra. Okay, get extra. Eh. Okay, let me see first. Get extra. Okay, this is bundle. Get string. Extra. Okay. Okay, because uh, the data is a uh, string, you can put here get string extra. Okay. Get string extra. Here, you can put your negeri. Alright. So, you put here string. Okay, output. Or anything that you like put your negeri afterwards okay you can uh, set the, the uh, TV states okay to uh, set the text okay, set text okay s output over here all right so what happens is that uh, it will uh, get back the key, okay? Because we send uh, to this sub activity negeri, okay? The key negeri, and then together with negeri that we want to be displayed over here uh, to here. So you put, and then over here you get it back again, okay? You get it back again, okay? Just like the no SQL database, you get uh, using the key, the keyword. The keyword is negeri output, and then you want to output back the uh, name of the negeri and then you play it okay you play the uh, the activity so you quit yeah okay melaka so melaka click and then you click here per list okay display here per list and then uh, Kelantan so you display Kelantan and then you click here Pulau Pinang you display, display Pulau Pinang okay the things that what happened is that uh, the top, okay, the top over here hasn't been uh, renamed. So what we want uh, now is we want to rename the title bar, okay, the title bar of the application. Okay, to do that, uh, we should uh, continue with uh, our lesson also, okay. Here we should continue with our les lesson. So stay tuned. We will continue uh, our lesson by changing what is stated in the title bar right okay the next activity will involve changing the title of this uh, application okay of this uh, activity so when you click per list over here the name of the per list will be displayed at the top of the uh, toolbar so be seeing you back at the next video.